Hi. So I want to show you how to create a scoreboard overlay for OBS using Keep the Score. I hope you'll find that it's uh, very simple, very quick. And um, I will show you that you can actually have it up and running in less than two minutes. So uh, let's get started. I'm pretty excited. Uh, here I am on uh, Keep the Score, which is a, uh, a website. So the whole thing is uh, an, an online app. And here in the background, I've got OBS with a uh, picture as a scene. So I will be adding my scoreboard overlay to this picture. Obviously, if you were doing this for a real live stream, you'd have your camera source um, in, in integrated into OBS here. All right, so let's go to keep the score. Um, I have created a user account, but that's not strictly necessary. You can get started without a user account. Okay, so I am going to click up here um, and select sports scoreboards, um, and I'm going to create a football scoreboard. So I click on the drop down here. And I will pick football. As you can see, there's a whole bunch of other sports and more are being added all the time. All right, so let's create our football scoreboard. I click and it's done. So we can see a preview of the actual scoreboard or score bug in this case. Um, down below, you can see the controls for controlling the scoreboard. And at the bottom, you have some options for changing the colors, the look and feel, and so on. Um, all right, so we will make some quick changes um, just so you can see how that works. So we'll give a home team a very creative name and the same for the away team and if we scroll back up you can see the uh the names have been changed up here now um i'm going to leave it at that um for now we'll come back and uh, make some more changes later um, I'm going to now add this as a web overlay to OBS. So what I do is I click on this orange button at the top saying get scoreboard link and it will present me with a URL which I can copy to my clipboard. So I've done that. And now I switch to OBS and I go down here and add a new source. So I'm going to add a browser source. I'm going to give this a new name. And in this field is where I add the URL that I copied to my clipboard. And I'm going to increase the size to 1200. Click on OK. And now it should appear. So I'm going to drag this to make it a little bit bigger. And I'm going to place it down here. Now, to control your scoreboard, you just go back to um, your browser window. Um, and I'm going to close this dialog. And now I can change the scores. Um, so I'm going to set give the home team a score of 8 and the away team a score, a score of 6. So the home team has um, only one timeout left and the away team has two timeouts left. We can start the timer and let's increase, change the quarter to the second quarter. Now if we go back to our OBS uh, window, you can see uh, this all updates automatically, right? So the timer is running. We've got the actual scores. Um, and that's basically um, how it works. So 
very simple, very quick. Just to finish off, we can uh, change the color of uh, the teams. So I'll give this one an orange background and a different text color. And here we'll change it to purple and green. These are just random colors. Um, and we can upload a logo. So let's upload the uh, Canadian flag and we will see that all these changes have been automatically applied. And if I go back to my OBS window, you will see that everything um, has been updated. So that's it. Um, let me know if you have any questions um, or comments, criticism in the comments below. Thank you very much. That's all for now.